this box. We've got so many boxes that we haven't opened still. They just said this is like the reverse of moving. We decided we wanted something for the office, some storage, and I found one that we love. Oh, it's really nice around here for us, and we've got it in the boot. Very exciting. We're unloading. We're both very excited about this, aren't we? to a new vlog it is good friday easter friday and uh, we've got a few days off at home so we thought we would enjoy spending them with you we've had a very slow morning i've been filming the last couple of days a self-care um video just having some slower days or slower couple of days so that was on a previous video if you didn't catch that but um it's raining the weather's really naff we want to get a few things done. We want that nice balance this weekend of doing things and actually having some nice sort of time as well. So we've got some new storage boxes and so we want to do some decluttering and organising. So we'll be sharing that with you. We're about to head out to Lidl. We want to make something nice for dinner tonight. So hopefully it will be a really nice vlog for you. So we look forward to sharing with you. Let us know what you got up to over your Easter weekend. Did you work? Did you have some downtime? Did you do anything nice? Let us know what you got up to. Just been on the phone to our daughter having a nice long chat, catching up. And in the meantime, I was gonna show you then the room that we were gonna saw and Aid's actually started it and he's made a really, really good start. So um, I'm not actually gonna be sharing with you what I planned. No, don't apologize. I'm actually, really pleased these are the boxes we're going to use with everything that you've done you've done loads i'll just show you what i've actually done you've done loads i'm really impressed yeah. we can actually walk in this room again now <laughs> well we've got to put the stuff somewhere after yeah this. Uh, do you know it smelled because it was full of books boxes it smelled quite lofty still does but no I, all i can smell is this candle i just popped this candle in here from bath and body works and to me it just smells of waffles no i can't smell that at all all can i can not? smell that feeling of something's been stored here okay yeah like the, the loft, loft sort smell. of smell so we've got curtain poles for downstairs they're all mugs they're all mugs oh my goodness there's one two three four five there are ten boxes there considering what we've already emptied it is a good chance to declutter as well though we yeah. also these are all old pillows um we need to go through these don't we yep. i think we can do a drop at dunelms maybe and get rid of some mm. to be recycled your scrapbooks my scrapbook which is the bulk of the floor yeah it is actually oh holly's trainers actually we can take those to manchester with us this weekend okay. can't we and take oh, some of her stuff that. yeah we've got a little holly pile going on before we tackle the rest of the stuff, we're going to Lidl and I've got manky potatoes to return again. They are really, really bad. Morrison's shop, no, Lidl shop's done. We popped into Morrison's as well. There's a couple of bits we couldn't get. And I forgot to pick up bread when I was in Lidl. I even mentioned about lunch, didn't I? I did, yeah. So we grabbed, I, I just don't enjoy the bread in Morrison's as much, but we grabbed. No, it's a lot more expensive, isn't it? Mm. It's one pound. And then one nineteen. we've got wheat, spelt and rye cob. Um, we picked up some fish for tea. I want to do kit fish and some roasted veg. Um, what else did we get? Got some bits for Easter to take to Manchester at the weekend. 15p potatoes at the moment. Uh, Lidl have got like, they do that Christmas and Easter time. It was 15p for those, for the carrots. For the swede there was green beans but they'd run out oh and uh, spring onions so i got three packs of potatoes there's also money off garlic granules and 50p off rapeseed oil so i was quite pleased always check your coupons took back the potatoes they were so nice you get digital receipts on lidl as well so it's so easy he just scanned my receipt and took the money off for the potatoes no question really really easy
I don't know. And with my coupons this week, I've got a free bag of pasta. Um, if you want to, also, um, we've got a load of bread that we've frozen. I'm going to keep that for a bread pudding if you don't mind. Thank you. A quick lunch of bread, cheese, ham, and pickle. Or pick a lily, I should say. I don't know where today's gone. It's really nearly three o'clock. Um, I've just got such a bad headache again. Let's turn my head in. Um, Aid's laid out some boxes. These are empty boxes. And I think we're just going to go through, but be quite ruthless. He thinks in this box it is literally empty stuff and a tablecloth. That tablecloth I'm going to shake off outside and that can go in the charity, I think. And we're going to start a charity box as well and try and get rid of anything that we've had lying around, kicking around for ages and not used. What's in? This box. We've got so many boxes that we haven't opened still. They just said this is like the reverse of moving. I wonder what this one is. Oh, this looks boring stuff. We can actually get in this room again. We've got loads of coats hanging in the wardrobe. We can actually get to them now, can't we? We've still got loads of stuff out, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Still oh, my batch is going to go. It is so, so sunny, so we're actually going to get outside and go and have a walk while it's like this. I make the most of it because it's due to rain again in an hour or so. I'm actually really hungry, aren't you? Are you hungry? Yeah, what do you want to drink? Um, I've just got my water on the table actually, thanks. We've been out for a nice walk and we're definitely ready for food now. Are you really hungry? Which one should I use? Yeah, me too. And for a nice healthy dinner. So, um, our my birthday video's just gone up and um, Carol, who is so lovely and always comments on our videos, asked about how I managed to keep my weight off and if she ate what I did she'd be I can't remember the word she used but basically sort of saying how do I stay my size um, firstly I, I said to remind that you tend to see between half an hour and 60 minutes of our week obviously there's a lot more hours involved in in our week <laughs> And it's all about the balance. I tend to film at weekends when, like most people, that's when you have your treats. And then during the week, we're a bit more sensible. I cook everything, whoops, from scratch. I balance our meals. And our meals are mostly veggie. I'm very conscious about what um, I cook. We don't eat a lot of processed food. Like I said, I cook everything from scratch and I love cooking. Um, so yeah, bear that in mind. You only see a tiny, tiny bit of our week. I am so hungry now. We have got a healthy version of fish and chips. We've got um, hake, peas, rocket salad, Roasted cherry tomatoes and peppers, homemade chippies, and roasted carrots as well. I want to put some onion in there. Don't want to sleep tonight at all. Just want to watch them stars fall. We do. Don't want to. 
Hello, welcome back to Easter Saturday. It's been a working kind of morning actually. It's been, you've completely floored out the loft, um, the ceiling, what do you call it? The garage. The garage, sorry. Um, you've put all the loft boards up, haven't yeah. you? Completely finished it now, so the whole of the roof is boarded, which is amazing. So we can't wait for that to be, um, what's the word, I'm forgetting my words today. Dried. Dried and um, I can't think. Yeah. More insulated. Insulated, that's the word, yeah. So we can sort of use it yeah. a bit more. You've done really well today. This time of year is not bad though because you don't have the, although it rains, it's not too cold. Yeah. We shouldn't really have too many more frosts now. No. So we've got that's the true. better part of the year to try and actually deal with things. Ready for the end of the year. Yeah, yeah, so um, yeah, so we haven't done any more with the sorting out. I've been working, we're going away tomorrow overnight and I've got a few work things that I had to have in place and scheduled, so I was doing that. And then this morning I was editing tomorrow's vlog and or Monday's vlog and I was, um, we were having a coffee tea, co coffee tea? A coffee, that was a mixture of a coffee and a cup of tea um, in the office this morning and I'm always browsing on fake, fake I can't get my words Facebook. out. Facebook. Yeah, Facebook Marketplace. And um, I saw a really, really nice cupboard. We decided we wanted something for the office, some storage, and I found one that we love. Um, so we're having a little outing and we're going to go and pick it up. And we're also really upset because um, our youngest can't join us on our trip to Manchester tomorrow. Um, there's a bug going through their house at the moment. So he's had to cancel. We are absolutely gutted. So I was really upset this morning because it would be the first Easter we haven't seen him. And he loves an Easter egg hunt, doesn't he? He does. He does. And I've got all his bits ready and we've just been so excited to have him home for a few days and then go away with him. So um, we've just decided to do a last minute trip over. So we've just been and done a week's food shopping for him. So he doesn't have to worry about getting out and getting food. And we've taken his Easter basket and all his bits and pieces. So I'm just gonna do a little drop off at the door. So having a little adventure out. Place called Market Lavington at the moment. It's got some lovely houses here. It's not where we know. It's where we go. Doorways. That's nice one. Beautiful. We've just spotted a white horse up on that hill. There's loads around here. I wonder how many there are, because my mum's got one. You can see one actually from my brother's, can't we? Yeah. They're all uh, slightly different. They're all dotted along. Do you remember yeah. we just spent those few days? Yeah, that's true actually. Been... On the ridge, is it the Ridgeway? Yeah, we read, read about it, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, it's really nice around here. It's a two-way road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I can come the other way. We've got two minutes to go and then we should be there, but we don't know the actual proper address, do we? So, 
bit of a mystery. Oh, we're closer to the white horse again though. It is literally a bit like a road with a few massive houses on. It's, we've got the name of the, of the house. I can't really find it on Google Maps. So, oh, that's the name yeah. there actually. Hopefully, and it looks like it's a B&B. &B. Well, that was actually really easy to find them. What lovely, lovely people. Oh, so nice. Massive house. You got the wrong way. No, so I carry oh. And uh, dog breeders. <laughs> they breed um, cavapoos. No, labradoodles. That Labra was it. Doodles. Yeah, little miniature ones. They were so nice, and they carried it out for us, and we've got it in the boot. Very exciting, and it's just absolutely beautiful around here. She said they never ever go on holiday because they don't want to leave because they don't want to leave all the pups. But she said it's very tiring. I think they have seven dogs of their own. They yeah, said. seven dogs of their own. And she's horses. got and horses. So, yeah, she was just yeah, about to ride. Why. Yeah, it is stunning just to live in the middle of nowhere. They literally just live in a road just with beautiful big houses, don't they? And all this, that's crazy. Isn't it beautiful? How peaceful as well. Although is it peaceful when you've got all those dogs? <laughs> this is stunning here. I think that's rapeseed, isn't it? I don't know, I wondered that too. All right, Mustard. off to visit Louis at uni now. River Avon just seems to be everywhere you go, it's doesn't really it? High, isn't it? It is really high. No ducks, no. Oh, look, it's a little pottery place. Oh, that's sweet, isn't it? Just pulled over in possibly one of the most beautiful laybys. The views all around us are stunning. When we did Louis shopping just now, because it was all rather last minute, um, we knew it'd be out for the afternoon, so we picked up a couple of chocolate croissants from Lidl. Um, so we're just going to have a little car picnic. The hazelnut croissants from Lidl are the best. Is it closed? Don't know. Uh, we have, are just making a very, very spontaneous stop at the craft centre in Andover. A friend of mine that I used to work with at Lufthansa owns the cafe here. And I haven't seen him for years and we literally just saw the sign. And we've been meaning to pop in, haven't we? Yeah. And, um, oh, is that the cafe down there actually? Oh, yeah. yeah, we're gonna go and see if he's working. It's really cool. Age just inspecting the furniture. We've just had a lovely catch up. Do you know, I haven't seen him. Did we work out maybe 12 years? Yeah. I just walked in and it's like, you know, when you, you just click and it's like, you just saw somebody the other day. It was so, <laughs> so nice. And um, we have well and truly stocked up on jams. He makes all his own jams and things and sells them in there. Got a real mix, there. actually. Got a real mix. We'll show you later. But oh, I'm just so happy. Thank you. That's, That's right. made me really happy seeing him. Yeah. Yeah, everything's just closing up. It's nearly four o'clock now. Um, we'll definitely come back here, won't we? It's just all little like artisan shops, arts and crafts. There was a pottery back there. It's beauty. Yeah, these have all closed up, haven't they? It's the Fairground Craft Centre. Little petal boutique there, antique clock repairs. What else have we got down here? You've been meaning to come in, haven't we, all these yeah, years? We even when we, before we moved, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was a proper craft shop there. Yeah, we definitely have to come back here. So, so and over anyone if you're in the area. It's not what we see, it's what we choose to. go we're home we're unloading we're both very excited about this aren't we should we take the drawers out yeah i've got to move it first i haven't had a proper look at it yet it's exciting right we're not gonna put it in the office right now 
Um, we're, it's now about half past six in the evening and we haven't really eaten today. So um, we've just stuck in the downstairs toilet for the time being and I'm going to deal with it next week. So we're going away first thing in the morning overnight. So um, I'll shove it in here because this room doesn't really get used. But this is our new find and we love it. it needs a bit of a clean up. Um, we really, really like it for the office printers and we've got really good storage space oops it smells a clean laundry it smells really nice and then we've got a shallow drawer oh, and then four deeper drawers as well and it's to go in this space here I can then put this desk back up in Holly's room and so it's going to sit high, printers, and just tidy up. This is all my paperwork and tidy that up. I, or I should say we, are really excited about it, aren't we? What's that? The new cupboard oh, I just sorry. bought. Oh, yeah, sorry. Really, yeah, yeah, both yeah, of us yeah. are really pleased with it. I'll show you the um, jams we picked up. It's been a really nice day, actually. Um, so these are the homemade jams. It only charges £2.50 for them. We bought some big homemade cookies as well. We one for Aid and one for Louis. Right, Aid went and chose these. Raspberry and mint. We have got blackberry and gin. He makes really, really good jams. Um, blueberry and thyme. A jumble berry jam, which is a little bit of everything. And then we have got, I've had his onion jam before, onion jam. So, oh, and there's the big cookie as well, a mini egg cookie for aid, seeing as it's Easter weekend. We have two pounds fifty for those. That's really good, isn't it? Um, we are very tired. We are going to get tidied up, make some dinner. I think we need an early night because... We're gonna leave early for Manchester in the morning, but yeah, we're really pleased. Oh, by the way, that Facebook marketplace find was 30 pounds. Same as the one that we got for the kitchen, the one over there. And that was 30 pounds as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna clean it up. Might touch it up in places, but we really like that kind of like French rustic look, don't we? Um, I just love it with the modernness of the house, don't we? We want all the kind of like vintagey sort of little accents. Yeah, that's what we kind of said, wasn't it? It was almost yep. like... it's what we've what wanted all it, along. Um, modern farm, it's modern country. Country, yeah. That's what we like. That's the style we like. I'm gonna make some dinner. A super, super quick curry tonight. What we fancy in watching. Why we don't mm, I wonder. Good morning. Welcome back to the end of this vlog. Um, I didn't end up filming last night. I'm not very good at finishing videos on the same day. I realise that now. We are so chuffed with this. Did I tell you we paid £30 for it? So we will be sorting it out in another video. I want to give it a nice wash down. Um, I will eventually give it another paint job as well just to tidy it up a little bit. But for the space that we need, I think it's perfect. And we both really like the paper on the side as well, the covering. So for now, it's going to live in here um, just until we get back from our trip next week. So yesterday ended up being a really nice day. We hadn't actually planned any of that. We were going to sort all the boxes out from the loft at, or for the loft. Um, Aid obviously got all the flooring down, the ceiling, what do you call it, the loft boards up in the garage yesterday. So yeah, we ended up just having a bit of a diversion and it was actually really, really nice. The Wiltshire countryside is so beautiful. The more we see of it, the more we're just so happy that we moved. Um, and I'm really glad that we got to see Louis. We're just getting sorted to head out the door and I'm gonna pick up a brand new vlog because we're just about to drive to Manchester. So the next vlog, we'll see you in Manchester. It's Easter Sunday, so I will wish you a belated Easter, happy Easter. Oh, Aiden. <laughs> Hello for his shoes. Um, yeah, so um, let us know what you did over Easter. Thank you very much for hanging out with us this weekend. And we will catch up with you next week when we're in Manchester. Lots of love. Bye.